Hello everyone. Um, before I get started, I kind of have a favor to ask. Uh, most of you will notice down here on the bottom left hand side, it says subscriber account zero. So I went to YouTube and for some reason my YouTube is saying no subscribers. I mean, it has got to be a YouTube glitch. So can everybody do me a favor just to give me peace of mind? Because if you are subscribed and it says that you're still subscribed, then I'm just going to guess that it's a YouTube glitch. Um, I mean, it has to be, right? I mean, because if it says you're still subscribed. So those of you that know for a fact that you're subscribed, can you, can you check for me? You're subscribed? It says you're subscribed, you're still subscribed. Okay, everybody's still subscribed. So that's gotta be a glitch, right? <laughs> no problem, Pat. Yeah, it has to be a glitch, right? Okay, so yeah. Oh, Kimmy, you reset it. It's working now. Oh, Kimmy, you reset it. Perfect. Because now it says 70. Okay. Whew. Not going to lie. Like I was looking at that and I was just like, whew. Oh, I was a little panicked there for a minute. I was like, no subscribers? Like, I could think maybe, like, if there was a, you know, some some reason, like, a drop of, you know, like, 100 because something happened. But I was like, zero subscribers? No! I've been building this for years. So, okay. Now that that panic is over, thank you. <laughs> and thank you, Donna. <laughs> Yeah, I was just looking at that and I was just like, I thought at first it was a glitch on my stream labels here that keeps track of it. And I was like, weird. So I went straight to, straight to YouTube and I was just like, what is happening? I, I panicked a little bit. Okay, let me scroll back up now that that's taken care of. All right, so Donna, first in the chat. Hello, Donna. Beth Ann, hello. Michelle, hello. Michelle and I have great minds think alike when choosing our numbers. <laughs> Debbie, hello. Kimberly, Arlene, hello, hello, hello. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else? Who is? Oh, Beth Ann, you're sick. I'm so sorry. Well, rest up, okay? Rest up. Hi, Shannon. Let's see. Let's see. Hi, Robin. Kathy, hello, hello. Tony, hello. Brittany and Robin, hello, hello. And Kimmy and Abby. Let's, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Pat. Hello. Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing anyone. Diane. Hello, Diane. Let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And everybody say hi. Hello, hello, hello. And then there's the section where I panicked and everybody said they were still sub. Uh, Deb. Hello, Deb. Just said, okay, perfect. Everybody says they're still subscribed. I remember doing this once before. Okay, see, I wonder too, because I was talking to my husband. I was like, I should just ask the community. If this has happened before, you know, we're all around enough. Odds are, you know, they've heard of it. So, okay, perfect. Joe Beth, hello. <laughs> Emily thought we all left her. Poor lady. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my goodness. Twilight Zone. Do, 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 do. Yep, YouTube Twilight, man. <laughs> we all left in the dark of the night and are back. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Aw, thanks, Pat. Yeah, it had to be a glitch. Hi, Joey. Dory. And I'm scrolling through. If I miss anybody's name, I apologize. Oh, I gotta 
fix that so that little square isn't popping up. Let's see. Patiently waiting for husband to bring so the cold medicine and cough drops. Well, good. I know, right, Kimmy? It's okay. We got it. We got it. Hi, Beth and Maria. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to apologize in advance if I missed everybody. Coloring book nook. Hello. Victoria. Hello. Nika. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so yes, if I missed anybody, I apologize. If I did miss you, hello! And it just means that I legit just missed your name. <laughs> okay, so this is where we're at. I went ahead and finished up the hair, and I gotta tell you, I am glad that I finished the hair just because it took me so much longer than I anticipated. So you can see we still kept the, uh, kept the, um... Victorian music and the little accoutrements on here because you know, we're still doing the Victorian page I took off the Victorian colorathon because technically it's not the colorathon anymore. It just takes me forever to finish a page Okay, so let's start with announcements 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 Thank you all for your help in the beginning here because I, I I was just like I saw that I'm like wait zero I can't be right. Surely that's a glitch. It would just seem so weird for it to drop down to zero. And I was just like, oh, that's weird. So um, let's see. Uh, this is the page da, 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 that won for our next page here. So starting Wednesday morning, we're going to be coloring uh, this page. As far as what pencils we're going to use... It is going to be between Ergosoft or Arteza. I have not decided yet because it's really small and I feel like Christmas colors are gonna get kind of messy in all of these spots. Ergosofts are great because you can get that knife spine tip, but yeah, right, Kibby? Yay! <laughs> no, Donna, I think you did, didn't you? It was between this one and, where'd my book go? There it is. It was between this page Yes, I'm planning to, Bethann. I'm going to uh, add the hashtag to it when we're done. Oh, I'm sorry, Donna. Well, here, I see you can see it was between this page. Oh, the book, but not the page. Gotcha. And this page here. So this is what it was between. This one pretty much won by a landslide. And I'm actually kind of, uh, kind of glad. Yeah, isn't that cute? I'm kind of glad because this is going to be perfect because since it has sections, we can cover a couple sections a night and it'll it'll really break it up uh, easily. You know, we can focus on, you know, just coloring the door and the bees or and the butterflies one night or something. But I think it'll break it up into nice sections for us so nobody feels too overwhelmed. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's the page that won. Oh, in case you didn't see it. Uh, so, you know, uh, Laura Rafferty was doing the giveaways. Um, that's one of my favorite pages, but if everyone loves the other, how can I complain? <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, during Laura's stream, she was doing some giveaways of some pages from her Etsy shop, and I was lucky enough to win one. So this is the one I chose, and I colored it today. Super bright. I used the Arteza art marker, so it went pretty quick. There are definitely a few flaws that I found, but it's just way, way bright. I was really surprised at how bright it ended up being. Those Arteza markers, man. They're, uh, they, they've got some color to them. So, but yeah, this was her little fake horn, uh, page. So that was fun. You can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's super bright. Right? Yeah, I know. Laura is so super talented. So, 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 so talented. Okay, so I think that's all the announcements for now. The Spooktober Colorathon or Halloween Colorathon. Um, aw, thanks everyone. Um, and again, if I'm missing anybody that's coming in, I apologize. I apologize. apologize. Um, but, uh, so the Spooktober Colorathon is a little ways out, so I'm not going to worry about announcing that yet because I need to print out the schedule, um, so I can make sure that I'm giving everybody's times right. Um, let's see. Was there any other announcements? I think that was about it. Everybody get to see Johanna's flip through this morning. Let's see, Dory, were you the, one of the last ones where I handed out 200? You know, let's just, it's going to take, it takes a minute for it to uh, cycle through everybody, but we'll just give everybody 200 points. That'll be good. Oh, ha, it worked. There you go. There you go. We're going to add points to all viewers. Everybody gets 200 pencils. Now it'll take a second for it to all go through, but there we go. Cue to 200 loyalty payout. There you go. Everybody will get, uh, um, 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 200 pencils. 
Yes, right? I'm so excited. Like, I, I'm so excited to get... I'm going to be drawing so much. We are definitely going to have to do some draw-alongs, everyone. Most definitely. Everybody's saying hi to K2. Oh, Montgomery, hello, K2. Hello, hello. So give it a minute, Brittany, because I think it has to go through everybody that's here. So, um, yeah, just uh, give it a minute and it'll all uh, it'll all go through. Let me uh, let me refresh here, because Dory once once Dory's paid out, then I'll know that that it went through. Dory, okay, so it's not quite there yet. It'll get through there. You forgot the announcement about me winning something. Not oh, Donna. <laughs> here, let's just double check. There you go. It's all for fun anyway, but it'll all go through in a little bit. It just takes a second to cycle through everybody. Anyway, they're just for fun, anywho, so it's all good. It's all good. Complimentary. There you go, Kimmy. <laughs> there you go. Well, welcome, Michelle. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, thanks, Donna. Okay, well, why don't we dive on in? So let's see, I've updated the past YouTube videos with all of the colors that we used and everything. Um, so that should work. Is my real name not short for anything? Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm realizing now like I did green flowers and then she's got some leaves here. So we're gonna have to get creative with her leaf colors. Can we collect our pencils? Can we choose our brand? There you go. <laughs> oh, thanks, Shannon. And if anybody wants to see how to color the hair, I finished the rest off stream. Yeah. The, the points will go through in a little bit, guys. So they're just for fun anyway. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. Who knows? <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and dive on in. Hi, Rosemary. I probably missed you up there. I apologize again if I missed anybody. Uh, but welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's think about, let's think about these leaves here. We could do another variation on green. Do burgundy leaves. I thought about that, but my concern is it getting lost in the hair because it's so uh, dark brown. All right, you got this. There you go. I am leaning towards like reddish ones though. I'm just not quite sure. Or, or we could do like pale, pale leaves. Thanks, Nika. Orange, yeah, I'm thinking somewhere, somewhere around that. Let me look, let's look at our color chart here. Let's take a look here. Boop, boop, boop. And it looks like we've got some new faces in here tonight. Uh, Dawn is using her pet superpowers, I know, right? Uh, and so, um, me too, reddish, pinkish, purplish, something. Yeah, ooh, purple would be good. See, Donna, you're magic. <laughs> so yeah, if you type exclamation point Facebook, that'll take you to our Facebook where you can find downloads of coloring charts and free coloring downloads, all that good stuff. But yeah, Donna, I'm thinking purple might be the go-to. Yeah, purple, purple. So let's look at our purple colors here. So I don't want to do bright purple. So I'm thinking, I don't want to do it too dark though. Bum, 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 bum. Let's do 1009. I think that's Dahlia purple. And let's do, okay, here we go. We'll do, we'll do 1009, 1017, and 1014. Uh, this is from Spirit Animal, Animals, Animals, I've been hanging out with my kids too much. Spirit Animals, Victoria. <laughs> Did you try refreshing it, Pat? Of course, my sub count on, on the stream is up. I haven't checked YouTube to see what it says. I'll refresh that real quick. Okay, yeah, YouTube looks better now too. Gosh, that was that was enough to make your heart drop. <laughs> Hop on on there. By the way, YouTube's taking all your subscribers. Start over. I'd be like, uh, no. <laughs> oh my goodness, can you imagine? That would just be a nightmare. Oh, awesome, Victoria. Yeah, yeah, that's right in there. I love and in fact, we're going to be doing spirit animals again for the Halloween colorathon. All right. So 1009 
And then we want 1017. Could you name the colors? Uh, yes, yes, Jabez. So this is Dahlia Purple. Let's see, we're looking for 1017. Dahlia Purple, that was my chair squeak. <laughs> Let's see. And then, where did the pencil rolled off? I'm like, where did the pencil go? I, I have the headphones on, so I didn't hear it hear it hit the floor. Okay, so Dahlia Purple, and then uh, 1017 Clay Rose, and then we're gonna grab my itty bitty pencil. I have got to find where my pencil extender went. I have no idea. But we're gonna grab 1014, which is um, Deco Pink, I believe. I know, right? I love Dahlia Purple. It's one of my favorites, too. You know what? We're going to grab a little bit of cream, too. I feel like we can work that in. Uh, it's in my cup here. These are all the colors that we used before, and I just have not returned them. Is this cream? Nope, that's eggshell. We don't want eggshell. There's cream. Have you shown which page you picked for the Halloween color -a -thon? Um, I think briefly, because I haven't, um, I'm not totally sold. It's a, it's between two pages. I'm leaning towards one more than the other, but I haven't fully decided yet. I know it's bright. Give it a second to, wow, that's really bright. Ooh. Okay. Bear with me. It'll settle here once I get to the page. So give me a second. I know it's bright. There we go. Okay. See. Okay, here we go. Like I first imagined when I said burgundy. My burgundy is the purple side. Ah, there you go. Ah, uh, thanks, Laura. <laughs> so this is in Spirit Animals. Let's see, this is a little bit. We're gonna darken that just for a second so you can see. Uh, but this is in Spirit Animals. I am leaning towards this page. So we could do the person, but I just did a person for, you know, I'm doing this one right now. Hi, Tweetly. Hi, Alyssa. So the spread is the reason I want the book. I know, right? So I think this is the one I'm feeling strongly about. So I think this is, I think this is going to be the one that we're going to be doing. I mean, it's got this cool potion bottle, well, this coming out, the little frog, the candle. So yeah, I think that, uh, oh, he's got a little book collar thing tied around him right yeah that's kind of neat i don't know i think i just want to move something away from people for the next one but yes yeah, so that was the choice it was either this one or this one leaning towards this one this is the strong contender here so yes that will be the plan for that okay and whoop. okay you know what? I'm gonna change, whoop. I'm gonna change this one second. I'm gonna just change the exposure on this. Give me one second. Here we go, exposure. We're gonna turn that down one. Okay. Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. What do you think? A little bit better? Not quite, not quite so bright. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that with that one page. What is with the lighting tonight? Uh, good or bad, Pat? Oh, you're talking about because of your lighting. Well, see, I discovered I've got two new, uh, well, not two new. Um, I realized I had another studio light uh, tucked away in my closet and I pulled that out to help. But then I realized there's settings on my camera where I can adjust the saturation, the exposure, the white balance. Because uh, for those of you who remember before, I was really struggling with the color on this. And so, um, yeah, I finally found a setting that works. After seeing Belinda stream, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I need to fix mine. So this was my solution. <laughs> if we color when you're live, do we have to do the same book page, use the same materials? Of course not. You can color whatever you like. Yeah, color color whatever you like. However you like, whatever you like. I just do it because that's the way I choose. And then if someone, you know, wants to color along, sure, that's fine. 
There is no hard or fast rule about how you want to color it at all. Okay, let's go ahead and sharpen up these pencils. Okay, these shorter ones I'm going to need to hand sharpen because they are just so short. Yeah, technically it's a color along, but I mean, I am super chill. So it's not like, oh, you can't post it if you don't color along. No, legit. I'm just like, post whatever you want. We're good. <laughs> my itty bitty tiny pencil. I wish I knew where I put my pencil extender. I just have no clue. Currently coloring owls by Susan Carlson on black paper. Oh, interesting. That'd be fun to see when it's all done. Hi, Nelly. Welcome, welcome. I know, Kimmy, me too. I am so, so excited. It is going to be so much fun. We are going to be drawing up a storm. Seriously. I need different holiday books and seasonal books. I just don't have the funds to get them, but I do have a lot of books, so I'll keep busy still. Ah, there you go. And, you know, with uh, Johanna's tutorials, you don't even need to buy her book for the coloring school. You could probably, she's got some Christmas stuff too. You can, uh, you can uh, draw your own pages. Buddy color for nightfall. Oh, fun. Okay, so we're going to zoom in. Right, wasn't it, Kimmy? I felt so bad. She was struggling with the technical part of it. Okay. All right. So we are first going to start with Dahlia Purple, which is PC 1009. Okay. See, it's bright enough that it'll pop from her hair a little bit. See, I think when you said burgundy initially, Donna, I was imagining like a Tuscan red kind of henna mix. But no, this, this pops nicely. I was trying to decide. Okay, I think we're going to do it this way. Right? I love Dahlia. It's so pretty. It's because you're not done. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Laura, I was showing at the beginning of the stream, I showed off the, the actual drawing, not just the picture but it's so bright. It came out so, so bright, Laura. <laughs> and you were right. I totally was channeling my, my want for blue hair, but I added like a little bit of like blue detail on her hand. It's kind of hard to see. There's a tiny bit on her lips, but I tried to add just like little bits of blue here. And then I wanted like a fade from the skin to the wings. Cause you said it was like fake corn growing pain. So I figure, you know, she's, she's, She's growing her wings. <laughs> Hi, Meredith. Welcome. Uh, we're using Clay Rose now, which is PC 1017. <laughs> Aw, thanks, everyone. All right, so that was Clay Rose. Then we're going to go in with Pink. And that's piece, uh, the deco pink, sorry, PC 1014 in my teeny tiny little pencil here. Okay. Sounds good, Michelle. Get some sleep. So I'm thinking I'm going to go see uh, Downton Abbey at the theater tomorrow with a friend. Has anybody here seen it? I mean, no spoilers if you've seen it. All right, and then cream. But I am curious as to how good it is. Seems fitting to go see Downton Abbey after the Victorian Colorathon. <laughs> okay, I feel like it needs something else. I need one more color. Hmm. You know what I want? I want to do like a muted blue. Let's see, maybe light circle? Periwinkle. Okay, I'm going to grab a blue periwinkle. I've seen it, but definitely want to. I'm planning to go see what my aunt knows. Gonna... Oh, awesome. Okay. 
I'm going to use periwinkle blue. That is PC 1025. And I just want to add just a tad here on the left side. That's what I was thinking. I didn't really want to do any greens, and there's already yellow to go with the with the purple, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the Dahlia purple again, and down here at the tip, we're gonna add Dahlia purple there, and Dahlia purple there. Then we're gonna grab our clay rose. We're gonna add that there. Use our teeny tiny pink. <laughs> right there. Okay. And then cream. Okay. Then we're going to take our periwinkle again. And just there inside the leaves. There we go. There we go. Getting a little bit better an idea. When it's zoomed in, for some reason, it's, it's still pretty bright. That's nubby pink. It is nubby pink. Just stop by to say hi. I color work, so I'm behind, but wanted to say hi to everyone. Hello, Dory. I'm so glad you're here. It really is a nubby pink. <laughs> See, it gets so much brighter when I'm getting closer. I wonder if I should lower the exposure one more time on here. One second. So I don't want to blow it out. There we go. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more accurate. Here we go. I will say I'm glad that I finally found a way to adjust it. You know what? It's really bothering me. Not my black grape and grade lemon are nubbies now too. I know, right? If I had my pencil extender, like I've got these cups of pencils that I haven't put away yet and I just can't seem to find them. Oh man, did I tell you guys what I did the other day? Okay, so I got this new um, exacto knife because at the time I couldn't find mine. It's this, now the lid, it's not super stuck. Like, it grips on. There's a little groove here. This plastic cart grips on. You know, I suppose I could push it down further. Well, anyway, I was putting the X-Acto knife away in one of the cups like this, which isn't usually an issue because it's got a cap. Well, somehow, when I wasn't... Thanks for subscribing, Kim. Welcome to our coloring family. Um, when I was putting it away, somehow the cap slipped and I wasn't paying attention. I put it in the cup and it got me it got me here actually pretty well healed now because it happened a few days ago but it bruised it underneath like it went in and I was just like no so needless to say this little wobbly cap I'm paying a lot closer attention to now my old one which I actually ended up finding I'm feeling faint, lol. <laughs> has a pretty solid cap on it. I'd never had the issue with it. I liked this one because it has a new grip thing on it. Now, I had never used it before, so thankfully it was a clean blade. And I was trying to explain my daughter. I told her, I was, I was telling her that it was a good cut and she was confused. And I, what I meant by a good cut is that it was a clean cut. You know, I hadn't used it before, so you know. And it healed up like real nice. Like I can't even see it anymore. But it was like right here and it just, and I was like, no. Of course, my kids are like, what? What? <laughs> yeah, learn my lesson just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I tried mixing a couple of different colors in Copics, but I was so surprised they came out decent. See, I haven't tried Copics. I would love to try it. I know, right, Cajun? I, I'm lucky I pulled it away fast enough because it probably could have easily, I mean, considering how sharp that thing was, it could have easily gotten to the bone. It definitely feels bruised. I went to pull on a light today and the chain like was right here and it just hit it wrong and I was like, ah, but that's clumsy me. Mine didn't come with caps. I need those. So afraid my kids will get so I cut so I keep them up high. Oh, most definitely. Oh yeah, I definitely have to keep the caps. 
I'm not even afraid for the kids because they're not allowed in here so much as for myself. <laughs> Too dang clumsy. Okay, um, before I move on into any more leaves or flowers, I really want to do her eyebrows because it's bothering me that they're not colored. So I'm going to quickly grab the colors that we used for her hair, which I'll read them out to you here in just a second. There we go. I don't know if we'll use all of them because it's such a small space, but we had black, dark brown, chocolate, light umber, and uh, peach beige were the pencils we used for her hair. So I just want to quickly color her eyebrows because I feel like that's going to complete her face a little bit more than it is now, you know? All right, here we go. So I'm just using black right now. And I'm gonna use dark brown. Yeah, I think I got that blue one at Hobby Lobby and then I got the orange grippy one, I think online. Okay, then we're gonna use chocolate. And if the music's too loud, let me know, I'll turn it down. And then light umber a little bit and then we're gonna grab peach beige okay and we're gonna go back in with let's see let's grab dark brown Grab, let's see, this one's chocolate. I'm gonna grab chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then light umber. Hi, Arion! Welcome! Okay, the light umber there. There we go. Walmart sells the Beth Ann, I believe, over in the wood craft paint, but they're cheaper and the caps never stay on. Yeah, see, I need caps to stay. Otherwise, I stab my finger. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. She has eyebrows. Okay, fun fact about that Miss Frizzle page, by the way. I don't know if anybody noticed, but the Miss Frizzle page that I did, the original picture, she has no eyebrows. So I gave her eyebrows. <laughs> It just looked weird. I needed her to have eyebrows, you know? All right, so we're going to set our browns aside now because we are done with those. And let's squeak out some more of these leaves, huh? And then I'm thinking some kind of cream-colored feathers. Is I, I definitely want light-colored feathers. Oh, goodness, right, Donna? <laughs> Hi, Tess. Welcome. Yeah, they used to have that for chat rooms, right, Donna? All right, so we're going to grab our Dahlia Purple again. Okay. Looks like we got another bow here we'll need to do. So Dahlia Purple here. And we're going to go ahead and get all of our Dahlia Purple out of the way here. I would really, really, really... Oh, no, not down there, my bad. Um, I would really, really, really like to finish this tonight. Put that deli purple in the wrong spot. I know, right? Way back in the day with them chat rooms. Are chat rooms even a thing anymore? Aw, thanks, Pat. I'm sure chat rooms are probably somewhere still a thing, right? Still working my way through. I'm on to the second season now of Grey's Anatomy, but I'm working my way through it. I still haven't decided 
how much I like the show. I will say that I'm entertained by it. I haven't decided. I have no idea about chat rooms. Can't even remember how I used to find them. Something through Yahoo, I think, wasn't it? Or no, AOL? Gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Gosh, it's been so long. <laughs> I suppose chat rooms are fairly outdated these days. AOL, that's what it was. That's what it was. ICQ. Oh gosh, I haven't thought about ICQ in ages. Thought I see what everyone was up to. It's time for coffee and coloring. Sounds good, Tess. Yeah, we're coloring some leaves. We're trying to finish up our page from the uh, Victorian Colorathon. Go. All right. We're also gonna shift over and do the dahlia purple on these leaves too. I want to just be. I want to. I want to get all these leaves done and out of the way here. I already have an album picked out for the Halloween songs. I found a good one on uh, Epidemic Sound. I've always been a geek. I'm right there with you, Robin. I am right there with you. <laughs> Although geek is in now, isn't it? Isn't that the cool thing? If you're a nerd, that's, that's a cool thing. You're taking the negative connotation from nerd and turning it into a cool thing. All right, now we're gonna use Clay Rose, which is PC 1017. <laughs> I can't keep any secrets, <laughs> Robin. Been listening to these songs so much now, they're super catchy. Coming along with them all. I feel like I should be waltzing right now. Oh, that sucks, Tess. Yeah, we had that. We've had. We've been sick twice so far this school year. Hopefully, that's going to at least protect us from whatever bug happens to be flying around at the moment. All right, that's it with the clay rose. Watch you kick back my head and feet up in bed, relaxing. Oh, awesome, Pat, I'm so glad. All right, uh, now I'm gonna use Deco Pink, PC 1014, my little, my nubby pink. <laughs> All right, little nub nub. <laughs> this really is so super tiny to hold. <laughs> Note to self, find pencil extender at all costs. Oof. I said mods say hello to people and they can't answer. I'm sorry. Huh. Huh. 
I wish I could leave some white when I colored. I tried. I just can't. Takes a little bit of practice. Little baby pinky. I know, right? To a teeny tiny. I'm gonna guess I, I'm gonna guess I missed something. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Blanket, hello. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna use cream. Welcome, Sarah Crespo, to our coloring family. We're working on our Victorian page tonight. Thank you for subscribing. Our Facebook group is in the uh, little welcome there. So feel free to check that out. We've got loads of some coloring downloads and color charts and all that good stuff. So welcome, welcome, welcome. There go. All right, that's all the cream there. Let's brush that off. Ah, thanks, Donna. Okay, let's get our cream over here. I wanted to run an idea by you all, because I've been thinking about it. Um, what would Johanna's coloring school going on? For the duration of her coloring school, she's gonna be doing it like every weekday and it's gonna be at 3 p.m. her time, which means 9 a.m. my time, which means that the coloring school will always coincide with when I do the morning streams. Now, I hate to cut out morning streams just because there are those who can only watch in the morning versus only those that, um, you know, come at night or, you know, can only come at certain times and well, that one broke. All right, let's try Donna's sharpener here. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure out what I should do. I'm wondering if I should go back to night streams for that or just stream anyway. I don't know. What does everyone think? Johanna's coloring school for the duration of it will coincide with my morning streams. And I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, they have to choose or feel bad or, or whatever. Or I don't want anybody to miss it if they want to watch it. So I'm just trying to decide. What do you think that we should do? Should we change it back to evening? I don't know. I hate, I, there, there are, like I said, there's some new viewers that can only watch on, or using Periwinkle, by the way. Yeah, Johanna streams, right? It's I was thinking about that. For her coloring school, she's doing it in the morning, Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. UK time, which is 9 a.m. Central time. And I stream Mondays and Wednesdays at 9 a.m. And then I stream in the evening Friday. Something like that. So I'm trying to decide if I should just keep going with what we got or if I should temporarily postpone morning streams until her classes are done. I don't know. I hate moving the schedule around all the time. Like I feel bad whenever I have to tell you guys I have to change it, but I also don't want anybody to be conflicted, you know? I think so, Donna. Yeah, it's for like two weeks, I think. So it would only affect like four streams. So I guess actually, Are we back now? Okay. I'm not sure what that was. That shouldn't have disconnected. I'm, I'm hardwired now. The Wi-Fi shouldn't be an issue. That was really weird. Um, yeah, it has been a little crazy. Uh, guys, I'm gonna be right back. Go double check our internet, make sure there isn't anything wrong. So give me one second.
that's good, Kimmy. Have a good night. Yeah, it was just a weird blip in our internet, I guess. But we're good to go now. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought we fixed that. Okay. All right. There are the leaves all done. Okay. All right. Um, let's do some feathers, okay? Yeah, I think some feathers would be are in order here. What a shame. Oh, because of the internet? Or did I miss something? <clears throat> Connecting the beads? Um, they could be. Or they could be rubies or emeralds. I suppose anything, really. gonna end up doing them green to kind of keep with the green theme but yeah I'm gonna say emeralds yeah um okay so let's do let's do let's do let's do let's do see I might have 10 18 out no that's 10 17 Perfect, Donna. Seriously, great minds think alike, Donna. Great minds think alike. Oh, I don't have much of 1018. Okay, we won't do 1018. <laughs> Trying to decide. You know what? Actually gonna use some of the same colors we did on the leaves. Okay, so we're gonna use clay rose, deco pink, and cream for the feathers. Okay, get a nice sharp point on clay rose. And in we go. There we go. All right. So there's so many individual feathers. What we're going to do is we're actually just going to take this base color all the way up in a line here. Okay. I'm using clay rose right now. Pearl tutorial on a page, it looks so beautiful. Oh, awesome. There we go. All right, we're gonna do that to all these feathers here. So we're using clay rose. Did you nickname the other sharpener Donna? There you go, I keep hearing, I keep hearing you say Donna sharpener. Might as well. The other sharpener is Donna. This is Donna the sharpener. <laughs> Oh, okay, Tess. We'll feel better, honey. Rest up. Drink lots of water. It's this time of year, man. Everybody's going back to school. There is a bug that is definitely going around. It's rough stuff, man. Just reminding me. I definitely need to make sure I get my flu shot this year. Definitely. There we go. All right. Sounds good, Robin. 
Have a great night. Okay, now we're gonna use our nubby pink here. Okay, we're gonna turn this because it'll be a little bit easier for me to hold. And actually, I'm just spinning it all over the place. All right, so we're just gonna kind of go out from this. Feathers are practical for Victorian times, right? Pinkish. <laughs> okay. We could do each one individually, but it's so small, it would just be a little too difficult. Do you have a pencil extender for that nubby pink? I do, Laura. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where it's at. I've been looking for it, but it just, it disappeared. I'm going to blame my cat and I'm going to say that he knocked it down probably somewhere. But yes, I have one. I just haven't a clue where it's at. I lost it this week and I haven't been able to find it. <laughs> I think I want to get a new one anyway, because the one I have has like a little uh, ring that slides up. And so I want to get one of the, the twisty ones where you can tighten it. I think that one would probably work better. But either way, I have one. I just cannot find it. It's cool. My hand muscles are getting a workout. <laughs> Trying to grip the pencil. Oh, thanks, Donna. I should probably have more than one. I really should. It's literally, it's, it's fitting right here. <laughs> it's so nubby. I'm just getting my money's worth out of the pencil, right? So if you really wanted to take your time, you could color each one of them individually, but the metal ones don't stay in my hands. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get these other two little ones and then we'll be done with our nub. Little nubby pink. do the old-fashioned way and you know it's just super glue super glue another pencil behind this one that works right they have a set of twisty ones on amazon they're reasonably priced too all right i'll have to look at that because i definitely need to get a new one i think <laughs> all right we're done with sir nubby sir nubs a lot sir nubby pants <laughs> i like that sir nubby pants sir nubs a lot the nubster Six for six ninety nine. Oh, that is good. The Nubinator. <laughs> Just gonna come up with a bunch of nubby names. All right, we're gonna use cream now. that cream <laughs> the nominator <laughs> <There you go. laughs> hard to grip they keep falling yeah all right sir nubbington the third there you go or it's, it's pink perhaps it's lady nubbington i mean it is victorian so lord and lady nubbington of the nubbington estate where all the pencil nubs go to live out their days. Lord and Lady Nubbleton's castle. It's a nubby castle. <laughs> uh, I'm hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Do you think Lord and Lady Nubbleton only have miniature horses? Because, you know, they're nubby. <laughs> 
All right, Lord and Lady Novington, Donna. <laughs> Squire Nub. <laughs> it's my best uh, Maggie Smith impression. So I had an idea for this loaf of bread that I want to make tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> dry donkey, like Marie Antoinette. There you go. Hi, Leslie. Welcome. I had an idea for a loaf of bread I want to try to make tomorrow. I'm thinking like a regular French bread loaf, but I want to make fresh pesto and I want to mix it in with it. Leslie, you want to see where we're at here? We're working on some feathers right now. But she's coming along. I'm determined to get her done. Also, you missed my impression of Lord and Lady Nubbington. <laughs> because I have a nub pencil. <laughs> I really gotta stop doing that voice. I'm gonna seriously embarrass myself. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Beth. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now we need to choose a color for the middle part of it. And I kind of want to do... Ooh, feel better, Mia. Anyway, but the loaf of bread that I had an idea for... Um, see, chestnut, is that? pretty brown isn't it actually no chestnut could work um so like a french bread loaf <laughs> it's possible leslie it's very possible <laughs> now i have no excuse it's just been a long day <laughs> uh okay we're gonna use chestnut um but i had an idea for this loaf of bread so like a french bread loaf and then i'm gonna make fresh pesto or did i finish explaining that and i'm gonna mix it in with it I think that would be really good. Also, for my coffee tomorrow, I got some fresh strawberries at the store, and I want to slice up the strawberries so that you know the juicy part and the the I guess the meat part of the strawberry is exposed. And I want to put the sliced strawberries in with my coffee and then brew the coffee over the strawberries. That could be good, right? All right, uh, and then Clay Rose is going to go over the top of that. And then over here, feathers are almost done. Clay Rose is going over the top of these. sharpen the cream here yeah me either well I thought about it with cherries and I was just like why not I like strawberries I feel like it could add a flavor to it right I think the same could work with any fruit so you know how I like uh, I have mentioned it before I like cinnamon in my coffee so what if I brewed my coffee with apple slices and then with the cinnamon, and then um, it'd be like an apple pie, uh, like an apple pie coffee, right? I don't know, everybody goes nuts for the pumpkin spice. Cherries, I can imagine, let me know what you think. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. It may be a total disaster, but I mean, I like strawberries. Maybe strawberries with coffee? I don't know. And I don't even know how much of the flavor will actually seep into it. But I mean, if it works, I mean, you're essentially going to be cooking the berry. See, that's the thing is I, I haven't been a huge fan of the pumpkin spice, but I'm wondering if I could put like, like pumpkin spice in it too. I know they have like apple pie spice, but I was just thinking if I put cinnamon already, what if I were to put apple slices and make apple pie coffee, you know, just brainstorming. <laughs> All right, so there are our nice little cream-colored feathers. The 
the pumpkin spice spice. Okay, there you go. All right. So let's make that in focus here. Let's do this other bow here. That's what I'm thinking. Well, see, these are going to be green. I haven't decided on the insides. I might do a lighter pop of color for these inside petals and then maybe go ahead and do blue. Like do a sapphire in the middle of these. I haven't decided yet if we'll keep sapphire for these, but like maybe sapphire for the middle. I think I want something bolder, but lighter for this. So lighter here and then like a blue sapphire here might, might work. But I want to get this bow out of the way so I can figure out my balance of greens. So let's grab our greens that we used before. Oh, Jobeth, it's almost your birthday? Well, Jobeth, since I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow, you know what that means. This will, this will, you, you can, you can replay this tomorrow, okay? You got it with the sapphire, yeah. All right, so, so you can re replay this tomorrow if you like, Joe Beth, or we can just count it early, okay? You ready? This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Cha cha cha. <laughs> with jazz hands. <laughs> Of course, my song sounds so classy next to the. Uh, <laughs> sounds so glad. Oh, I'm glad you like that, Jovet. <laughs> my birthday song sounds so classy next to all this classical music, right? Let's see. Does this seem dark again? It's a little dark, doesn't it? One sec. There we go, that's better. Oh, I'm glad, Joe Beth. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use dark green first. Okay, let's carry this on through here. Then let's use grass green. Okay. I'm going to throw in a little bit of this chartreuse, I think. Or no, we want true green. Oh, look, it's a nubby. Oh, there we go. They're complementary colors, so this is Lord and Lord and Lady Nubbington. Okay, seriously, I need to stop that. I need to stop that. Stop me from doing that again. I can make you laugh. Do it again! No! No, Lord and Lady Nubbington. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. This is terrible. You're all a horrible influence on me. <laughs> the nubs are multiplied. Oh no! They're making their little Nubbington babies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to stop. I need to stop. <laughs> uh, you fail, Sage. See, I can't even keep a straight face now. <laughs> Lord and Lady 
no, but you're not too distracting. Okay, seriously, I need to stop. Why can't I stop? Why can't I stop? <laughs> no more nubs. Just using white to smooth it out a little bit. There we go. There we go. A little green, a little green there. That's fair, that's fair. Your husband's in the room wondering if he needs to commit you. There's a very good chance, Bethan. I'm sure he's wondered that much more frequently other than now. <laughs> as long as I'm not waking up the kids with my shenanigans, I'm good. All right, since we've got our greens out, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get these green petals done real quick and that way we can gauge our other colors uh, accurately. All right, so let's go ahead and get these greens done. Using dark green. Well, I'm excited to start a new page though. I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be fun. And we're gonna do this one up here too. darker there. I do enjoy being able to adjust the brightness myself though. That makes it so much easier. Okay. And then green. Grass green. I always look forward to changing to something like Arteza or Ergosauce too because they're not nearly as messy of a pencil. I get so much pencil dust with Prismacolor. Okay, then we're going to shift over here, do grass green here. True green. I have a hairdresser's memory. I can remember names, colors you have, perm rods, and used to have birthdays. Everything else eludes me, like shopping lists or pencils I use. I know, right? I keep needing, I was telling my, my, my kid tonight because, I'm gonna use true green right now, by the way. Um, she, she was getting frustrated with school because she said she, you know, can't always remember what it is the teacher is trying to teach her. And I explained to her, I was just like, well, honey, you're not alone. Because I have that issue too. I've been trying to remember to reorder the soap that I need like all week and I can't seem to remember it like at all <laughs> it just eludes me you know I think of it while I'm doing something and then the moment I'm done doing that thing I, I completely forget it and I think oh I'll go write that down in a minute and then I never do and it's been a week and I still need to order more soap <laughs> all right now we're gonna grab chartreuse I know, right? And that's my thing, is remembering to make the note. Like, I've been wanting to look up that Copic certified thing, everything I, ever since I found out that Belinda was Copic certified. But yeah, I still haven't done it because I keep thinking, oh, I need to look that up using white now, by the way. And then I never do because that's the way my brain works. I 
Thanks, Donna. I remember the DVDs we have, but can't remember the important things. I know, right? I totally get that. Okay, so I've been trying to decide what we should do for this. Should we just color the jewels or should we do a mock shirt? See her collar like ends here. So We're gonna take a short break. We're gonna do this dress, okay? Let's see, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, all right. We're gonna do kind of a mix here, all right? Do you need to put some color under the jewels that fade out? You need to put some color under the jewels that fade out. Are you talking about these ones here? Yeah, that's what I think we're gonna do. I'm thinking we'll just fill in the color here. Because that's where her shoulder line stops, so we'll just assume that the rest of this stops here for the sake of the picture. All right, so we're going to use some dark green. We're going to do kind of a little a blend of something here, okay? So let me see. Zoom in a bit more for her dress, yeah. Okay, and in fact, I'm going to lower this just a little bit more here so you can get a little bit closer idea of what I'm going to do here because I'm going to do something a little bit different. Okay. And in focus, there we go. Okay. All right, so we're gonna use, we're gonna use dark green. I know, right, Donna's so handy. and fill this in a little bit darker near the top. something a little bit different with this so bear with me here just kind of making some little trails out here it'll all come together when I'm done okay all right now I'm gonna grab the dahlia purple okay make sure it's nice and sharpened So not coloring back and forth. I'm just drawing some streaks down. It does, yeah. Uh, I use Tuscan red in this, Donna. Okay. Let's see. Next, we're gonna go ahead and what do I want to add next? We're gonna add. Thanks, Abby. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. We are going to add next some true green. <laughs> oh, Donna. Oh, nice, Sharon. Oh, Kimmy, and I saw your drawings in the group. I just haven't had a chance to comment on it. Your your drawings, your flower drawings look wonderful. Okay, I'm using true green here. I really like them. I know, right? It's addicting is what it is. Seriously. Okay, um, let's see. I want to do now just a little bit of chartreuse. gonna get Lady Nubbington. Okay. Do some pink up from the bottom. Okay. okay. Now we're gonna grab our white. over the top here to kind of blend it all together and smooth it out and then when we're done here I'll zoom out and kind of show you what we've done here you kind of see what I was trying to achieve here let me go over with another little layer here Basic colors are down. So we're gonna grab our dark green one more time. I basically use them until I can't use them anymore, Leslie, and then I check them. Unless they're my Karanda Ash nubbies, then I keep them. I'm not really sure why. Maybe with the hope someday they might grow back. <laughs> So we're gonna hi Helen okay there we go now zoomed out you can kind of see what I was going for it's kind of a mix of all the colors that we use so far because this is gonna be red around um, the beads are gonna be red like they were up on her headdress but <laughs> nope nubbies Oh, I hear that, Donna. Which discontinued Prismacolor is it, uh, Donna? All right. Um, so we used, we need, what was that? That was Tuscan Red. We used Deco Peach and White for that bead. Light Yellow Green. Interesting. I don't have that one. Yeah, I'd keep it just for the sake of the fact, yeah, of having that one. That's cool. 
Light yellow green. Did they replace it with like yellow chartreuse or chartreuse? Thanks, Donna. Okay, now we're gonna use our red here. Thanks, Helen. Here, we had it zoomed out there for a second. But yeah, she's coming along. We're almost done. I'm so determined to finish her. Or pale sage, yeah. That is true, it is not a warm green. It's definitely a cooler green. All right. Kitty cat's outside meowing for his snack. I'm using Tuscan red right now. question is, can you guys hear him meowing? I know the mic picks up quite a bit. Hi, Dusty! And hello, Helen! And deco peach. Oh, you do hear him? <laughs> I know, right? Poor deprived kitty. He never gets any food ever. He's so starved. Please note the sarcasm in there. <laughs> We'll open the door at least so she can come in. <laughs> it's not even 10 o'clock yet, kitty. Oh, hubby gave in. He's coming in to feed him. I know, right? Snack time. He's like clockwork. Who needs an alarm clock when you've got a cat that has his 10 o'clock snack set? Exactly. And he got fed at 6 o'clock. Like, he got fed a full bowl at 6 o'clock. He just thinks he needs food. He doesn't actually need it. Oh, is Kimberly headed out? Have a good night, Kimberly. Yep, the pouring of kitty kibbles. Yep. I know, right? He's faint with hunger. Well, it was six o'clock, so it was like four hours ago. So it was only four hours ago, and he's just like, <laughs> He has the most deprived kitty life ever. He only gets to eat every four hours. <laughs> All right, using the white now. Poor little deprived kitty. Well, see, and we can't just leave food out because our other cat is on a diet. So she will eat it if we just leave food out. So they have to be fed at specific times and then they're only fed what they eat, you know? I mean, it works. She's, she's lost a few pounds because she was upwards of like 16, 17 pounds. She's a big old cat. And she was having some breathing problems and all that. So we had to put her on a pretty 
strict diet. So, yeah. Our cat demands to be better for three hours. He's skinny, has anything, but perfectly healthy. Yeah, see, there you go. Kitties with fast metabolisms, right? All right, let's zoom on out. I know, so starving, so starving. Okay, so here's what we've got. Cause I don't think I'm gonna bother with these borders tonight. And I may even skip coloring those all together. When I take the picture, yeah, I may just skip coloring them all together. That fat kitty is fluffy and demanding. Yep, I know, exactly, right? <laughs> um, so what do we have left? We've got the jewels, earrings, jewels, and inside jewels of the uh, flower. Okay. So let's get those done. Let's get our blue jewels done. Let's grab... Indum Throne, Cerulean. We don't have that much space to work with. So Indum Throne, Cerulean, and Sky Blue Light, maybe? Hmm. No, I think I like True Blue instead. And maybe not as dark as Indum Throne. Maybe Ultramarine. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Yeah, earrings. I think rubies for bead jewels would be better, but... <laughs> Rubies for bead jewels. It could, but I kind of want to do a pop of color away from that. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to sharpen these. Like, have they never seen food? I know, right? Yeah, it's like they're all they always act like they're starving. It's like they forget that they get fed on a regular basis and they're just never sure if they're ever going to eat ever again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do sapphires in the flower center. So what I was thinking, Donna, is that I would do sapphire, 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 and then hmm. I don't know. I'm on the fence about these. And I'm thinking maybe... I don't know. Let's just start with sapphires here. Then see how the blue looks. And then maybe sapphires there and there. Gosh, it's so hard to figure out. It's hard to visualize. <laughs> I want to get two cats, but the way Tiger eats, I couldn't afford another cat. There you go. <laughs> I have three dogs after my food every time I eat. Yeah. Uh, if they know that I'm like, if one of our cats knows that I'm spending time in the kitchen, she knows that it's usually something good. So she's just hanging out. Well, I feel like if I do the jewels blue in the middle of the green flowers, then I would need to do blue somewhere else. Like, it would look too weird. I don't know. Maybe blue is just not the right choice at all. Maybe I should just stick with green and red. Maybe blue would seem too out of place. Blue does seem like it would be out of place, wouldn't it? Yeah, blue just doesn't seem right, does it? Welcome back, Gabby. Every time we go to the kitchen, he follows, and the rat bag only drinks out of a cup, so we have to give him a drink as well. That's hilarious. You think blue? Ultramarine with periwinkle? Yeah, I think you're right, Donna. I think this one's too bright. I think periwinkle is the right choice. Yeah, maybe like a muted blue. I know, right? It does look a little Christmassy, doesn't it? Maybe she's planning her holiday outfit. All right, let's just dive in. Let's just, we just, let's just do it. We gotta rip off the Band-Aid, right? Someone put a cup outside when he was a kitten and now he demands a cup to drink from. That's hilarious. All right, so we're gonna use Ultramarine first. Yeah, 
I think that true blue is a little too bright. the camera I didn't mean to go did I really go that far ha huh? I did <laughs> okay this one we're just gonna kind of use this so we can it's so small Okay, that works. I think that was what the problem was. I think that true blue was just going to be too bright. So I think I am still going to do blue on these jewels here. Okay, so Thanks, Donna. Well, they look kind of like candy right now. Okay, on the home stretch here yeah I think that subtle blue is much better that was a good good choice or maybe for the tiny dots on the flower center petals yeah so I'm going to uh, use gel pen for those dots but yeah I think Ruby's a good choice let's see and we're gonna do ultramarine here Okay, then let's grab our Tuscan Red. And then our Deco Peach. Take a little bit of white. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to move on down. Oh, definitely. Definitely, Donna. Okay, so I know I want to do this one here.
I do like. Well, and sometimes once you add more color, it's a lot easier to visualize what you want out of a picture. And where. Kitty, what are you doing? And then where the balance can be. I didn't forget to turn off the water. Oh, <laughs> funny. gonna do I think another sapphire here then I think we'll do okay we're gonna start with this I'm right there with you, Abby. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Abby. Let me take a better look if we zoom out a little bit here. What do we think for this jewel? Red or blue? Because we could do red with the rest of these jewels here and then do blue here. And that might bring it all around. I feel like red might be a little bit too bright, if that makes sense. Blue? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, well, let's do this big one first then. Our Tuscan Red. Sharpen this, get a little bit finer point here. Okay, these ones here are gonna be red. Sharpen our white. I know it looks kind of like a hot mess when you, you know, look at it up close, but. When you zoom out, that's when it looks a little bit better. Is the metal in the bead chain silver or gold? I'm leaning towards gold and I'm probably gonna use um, gel pen. these petals and we'll do the same petals here I think I suppose it would make more sense to make these gold 
Gold to the big sapphire too. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe gold here. We could do gold for the inside of these too. Bring it all around. Okay, let's grab... Um, where is it? Is this espresso? All right, we're gonna grab espresso. I agree. We just cream. Okay. All right, so we're gonna use get our gold effect. We're gonna use espresso, golden rod, yellow ochre, cream, and white. So that is PC ten ninety nine, ten thirty four, nine forty two, nine fourteen, and nine thirty eight. Oh no, Loretta! I'm so sorry. See, and this is why I wait with some pieces, because we wouldn't have thought to do gold for the inner petals if we had colored them first. Well, I'm glad you're here now, Loretta. I know, Loretta, I was a little upset with YouTube earlier. It told me that my subscriber count was zero. And it wasn't until Kimmy resubbed and, and I think Donna resubbed. There was a handful that resubbed that it like, it reset it or woke it up. And it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you still have, you know, 7,650 instead of zero. It legit said zero on YouTube and on my stream lads. I about had a heart attack. All right. So this one's gonna be kind of tiny, but we're gonna make this work. Mix it a little bit. Here. I find I talk quieter when I'm trying to do smaller spaces. <laughs> okay, now golden rod. Let's see how many of the colors we can fit within these teeny tiny petals. Okay, yellow ochre. A little close here. Lunch break is over. Image is absolutely gorgeous. Emily, bye everyone. See y'all soon. Thanks for hanging out, Leslie. Have a glad you had a good lunch. It's so teeny tiny. It's hard to get across that that's supposed to be gold, but I think that works. For a few minutes after eleven, I really need don't need to stay up till the wee hours of the morning again. There you go. Hello, is everyone, by the way. Hello. Well, we're almost done, Loretta. I'm going to go ahead and cover over these, color over these circles because we're going to use gel pens, so it won't really matter. Okay. Golden rod. Kimmy says I'm getting hungry. Me too, Kimmy. Me too. I will definitely be getting a snack after this. Okay, okay then gold here.
got it. We are almost done. Thanks, Helen. Thanks, Pat. Yeah, I think the gold works out really well. All right, we are almost done, folks. Almost done. We got to add our gold around here and then our gel pen touch-ups and then we will be done. Yeah, but it doesn't like, it doesn't hide. So like the, it's still kind of yellow enough that it stands out from the brown. So I think it's, I think it's working out really well. Okay. All right, almost there. This is all this pencil dust. I'm gonna have to take an eraser to this page. This is espresso. Then golden rod. See, Donna, I think it worked out well that we did this in the evening. I need all everyone's help. <laughs> Gray, then yellow ochre. Donna's just got this gift for picking colors. It's freezing out and I was eating ice cream. Oh, how does it feel for it to be freezing out? That would be amazing right now. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We're gonna use the Sleechy metallic gel pen, okay? okay. I know, right? <laughs> I'm right there with you, Pat. Okay, so we have our gold Pentel Sleechy Metallic Gel Pen. Okay. One of the things I really like about it is it just does such a good job of popping out on top of that pencil. It's a real solid gel pen. Seven today and rain. Oh, so jealous. 73. Dang. What about Wink Stella on the ruby jewels on either side of the sapphire necklace? Oh, that'd be pretty. I just gotta make sure I don't grab the blue one. The blue Wink of Stella is evil. Then it shouldn't exist. <laughs> I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. Right? Yeah, I love these gel pens for this. gold detail down here. Oh, you know what? I just realized she had a little thing here, a little tie at the end of her little twist thing here. So we're going to use green gel pen on that little thing at the end. A red wink of Stella. No, no colored wink of Stellas. They scare me now. I've been traumatized. Wink of Stella trauma. It's a thing. No, but I'm thinking every color, right? It's too traumatizing. Only the clear. I'm only ever going to buy the clear. So there's that. Oh, 
got her earring. See, I suppose I could color these filigree things, but honestly, I kind of just like her. So I can do the picture without these things. Just take the picture of just her. I kind of like that. Emily, spell those gel pens for me again, the metallic ones. Here, I'll, yeah, I'll type them in here. They are, actually, do I have them in your exclamation point speech? Did I do that? Maybe. But they are the Pentel. I wish, I feel like the gel pen command I put for, okay, well, anyway, they are Sleechy, oh, here. They're Pentel Sleechy Metallic Gel Pens. Let me look real quick. See if I have the link for it in Nightbot. Let's see. Glitter. Okay. I don't have an exclamation point gel pen. Huh. I am surprised at myself that I never put those in there. All right, note to self, make a sleechy, sleechy command. Yeah, I absolutely love them. The Arteza glitter ones are great if you wanna shine, but the, what's the word, opaqueness? These just go over pencils so nicely and they're super, like the gel is super thick, so it's not like see-through or anything. It's really nice, it's really nice. Okay, let's see, uh, is this clear? Yes, it is. Okay, so Donna, let's see. Where did you... Amazon took them. I forgot who had recommended them. Yep, that's probably me. Uh, let's see. Oh, Patricia says, just stopping by to hang out with you for a few minutes. Sounds good, Patricia. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Wink of Stilla on the ruby jewels on either side of the sapphires on her necklace, on the fabric part. Ah, that's what it is. Okay. All right, let's use, yes, I was rereading that. These ones here, right? And if you wanted to, you could always like use a little white gel pen to make them look like they've got to shine a little bit. Actually, we could put this Wink of Stella on all these jewels. And for those of you who don't know, Wink of Stella puts out like this clear glitter gel pen. So there you go, you can kind of see. It's wet right now, but then once it dries, you'll see the glitter. So we're gonna add some glitter to that. Let's go up, we're gonna add glitter to that jewel. That jewel, this one here. Let's see, did we get this one? This one here. This one. This one. And that one. There we go. And we'll add some earrings here. We'll add a little bit. Oh, no, I did already. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I don't really feel like doing those filigree things. I don't think it's absolutely necessary for the picture. I kind of just like her by herself. So I am going to call this picture finished. Feel free to color the extra filigree. Um, but I think I want to leave her just as is. Oh, right. The daughter red. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot about that. Donna's our hero of the day. I'm flipping over so I don't smear my wink, Estella. Oh, yeah, yeah. For those of you that don't know the story, on the first page we did together, I meant to grab the clear wink of Stella, but I grabbed the blue, and it's like, it's dark, dark blue. So there was like, yeah, I was panicked, but I, I was able to salvage it. There we go. Knew I was forgetting something. There we go. Our little Victorian lady. There she is. She is all done. Aw, thanks, Mia. 
I'll have to take a picture of her and get her all posted and stuff. But yeah, I'd tell you through how she came out. It took a little bit, but what, three sessions to get her done? I mean, I know I did most of the uh, hair after that, but yeah. Okay, so Wednesday morning, we're either going to use Ergosofts or Artezas. I haven't decided yet, but we're going to be coloring this page from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. So pens and pencils at the ready, huh? And that is what we are going to work on. Well, thank you, everyone. You're all so sweet. Well, you you all, you all helped me too, so help me pick colors and stuff. So yeah, she's good. Happy Victorian Colorathon, right? <laughs> Sounds good, Donna. Well, yeah, we'll be live again Friday night, so it'll be good. All right, everyone. Well, on that note, I'm gonna call it. Go get a snack and probably hit the hay. So thank you all for hanging out so so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I suppose I will see you all when I see y'all next, whether it be Wednesday morning or Friday night. You all have a good rest of your week, all right? Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. <laughs>